Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the stream. I am playing Silas on PvE. And I'm gonna be trying a new build that I think is gonna be the new like bruiser build for Silas in season 11. These are my runes. I went to Conquer, Presence of Mine. It got changed. Mana regen, not flat mana. And then I went Legend Destroyer, which is percent magic pen. And then Transcendence is different. I went Haste per level. Uh, I went Corrupting Potion because Cassidy doesn't have Ignite. I do have Conquer. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be rushing Axamuk. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going like a Bruiser build. Axamuk into Demonic Embrace because they have really good synergy and they have a really tanky team comp. Like their team is so tanky. So you either go Leandre Demonic or you either go Axamuk Demonic. And I want to try Axamuk. I go Leandre so much. Like everybody knows Leandre is so strong. But I want to see how much true damage I can do with Axamuk versus like a tanky team comp. Okay, Kassan is here. I have Ignite Advantage, maybe I can kill. Oh, he lives! Imagine if he had a Doran's Ring instead. He has TP, he's probably gonna TP back. Can I put a point in W and then duel him? Oh, maybe I can. I'm getting very greedy. I want to keep my conquer up. Oh, my E2 hit him like as my conquer was expiring, but it didn't expire. That's so good. That is a tier Cassidin versus a conquer Silas putting points in the W. Okay. This is, game is like the best dead that I've had. Get away from me! I'm gonna flash! Nice. Flash for flash. <laughs> he is tilted! Wait, who's tilted? One of these two? Wait, the name Ass is not banned on PvE. Nice. I'm gonna wait for... Omniban. This item is really good. I was debating if I should go Presence of Mind or Overheal, but I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Presence of Mind just because I don't want to go Ravenous Hunter for their team comp. I want Lake Team Runes, like Transcendence. Transcendence goes really well with Axamuk because takedowns give you reduced cooldowns on basic abilities. This is like the best rune possible on Silas. Wait, he still had flash. Maybe I can kill. Woo! He didn't flash the first two times. Keep in mind this isn't rank, this is PvE. I have no idea what rank anybody is. I don't really need to recall. My bot is doing good. Chains build revolution. I'm, learn one I'm coming! Ooh, that is a very fed cled. Maybe we can let me do it? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh! The wave's in a bad spot. I don't know. Yeah, if anybody doesn't know, Omni Vamp is Lifesteal and Spell Vamp, it's both. And I think it goes really good with the rune overheal. I'm a man without a country. I am convinced that Transcendence is the best rune in the game on Silas season 11. It's like Presence of Mind season 10, like live server. Transcendence is so disgusting. Like you're in a team fight, you get a kill in like a 2v2 and then your W is back off cooldown. Because kill reset reduces cooldown of your W. It's so broken. They have a lot of good ultis this game. Okay, I fully stack my Axamuck and then I hit them all with Blitzcrank ulti. For like 400 true damage each. 
I'm just doing this for attack speed. I'm dead. Can I get the bleeding? Please. Can I get this cannon? I cannot. Cloud TP. Hmm, I need... Oh my god, I have it. I have 7 minute axe mark. This game is GG mid lane, but they're cut as as fit as I am. Yeah, this item. I died many deaths in my cell. This is I'm really, really unsure. Leandre's and Axelmach are the two best mythic items, but I don't know which one is better. And I want to see how much true damage I can do versus a tanky team. I feel like this item is better versus bruisers. And this item is better versus squishies, honestly. I think this is like the, the bruiser item. Because when it's fully stacked, 100% of my bonus damage from Axelmuck becomes true damage. Especially if they're stacking MR. Or if I'm versus like Kassadin, I think it's a really good item versus Kassadin. Because he negates 15% of magic damage. And so true damage is really good against him. I'm coming. To me, run to me. They don't have any good ultis. Jin doesn't have a good ulti either. They lack good ulties. Just sowing the seeds of rebellion. You've been Hello. To prison. I have axe muck already. <laughs> Honestly, hook me. Do it. Hook me in the gym. See what happens. They don't want to fight me. Understandable. Omnivamp heals true damage. Omnivamp heals off everything, so yeah. Leandre's looks like it's the most broken item in the game, but honestly, Axelmuck does so much true damage. Like, if my Conqueror is healing me for 260, my Axelmuck is doing... It's done 420 true damage already. Dude, I can't tell which item is better. They're both so broken. Yo, what's up, Mahler? Hello. Whatever My thoughts on the bring. new PvE stuff? I think Eclipse is really good. I think Eclipse is debatably the best item in the game. It's like an AD champion item, not a mage item. Eclipse needs nerfs. I agree. I thought I'd do a little bit more damage. I don't really want to fight. Him. Ah, fuck it, it's blood. This dude likes mid lane a lot. I'm gonna go. I don't have legend tenacity, so I'm gonna go for my treads. I'm gonna go like bruiser build. Should I go circuit? Bali stun, Jin W. They have like no CC. I'm gonna go circuit boots. I had worse beatings in prison. And a dark seal. Yeah, this is PB. You can look at the items. 
Look at Leonji's, just read it while I walk back to lane. <sighs> no mana. If you go Axe Mouth, you're gonna be fighting a lot, and then that gives you presence of mind take down mana though, which is Question nice. Authority. Oh, there Kled is an Eclipse Abuser. That is why he's so fed. Yeah, hitting a champion with two attacks or abilities deals physical damage equal to 16% of their max health. You know how broken that is? And it gives you move speed. Like, bro. Wait. Thank you. Ah, uh, but this crank ulti is really nice to hold on to. Flaming face. Eventually. I want to hold on to it. Is Cassid in butt? I think he is. He is. What is he building? Is he going rocket belt? He's going rocket belt and cast it. Dude, I played so much PvE, I can see what they're building and tell what item they're building now. It took prison Insane PvE player. I'm gonna help this way. Goodbye, Jax. Nice! Uh, I can't really go top, I'll just die. Yeah, I'm gonna go Axemuck and then I'm gonna go Demonic Embrace. What item is the most busted? Eclipse. I'm going this one next. Wait, is Cassidy rushing this item? This is Eclipse. 55 AD and Lethality and Omni Vamp. Omni Vamp is better than Life Steal, so it heals off abilities. Hitting a champion with two attacks or abilities deals physical damage equal to 16% of their maximum health and grants you movement speed and a shield for two seconds. It's a 200 shield and 30% movement speed and 16% of their max HP. It's it's just so overtuned. Like the max health alone is so broken. Okay. All right, my Alistar is kind of insane. I used to be locked up, but... All right. That was a sexy Alistar combo. Okay, support gap. I wanted to go in, but I wasn't sure if I was there. Maybe I can get a... I don't, know, I don't have overheal, never mind. Cloud ulti would be okay this game. If I'm going Bruiser build, Cloud ulti is good. I'm gonna try to yoink their blue. Cloud is bot, I can yoink it. I don't know what that mark is. I see it like every game and I feel like it's a bug, but I'm not sure. Cast it in with the... Oh, that's actually probably good on cast it in. It's like AP Duskblade. Just waiting for him to do something. No more slums, no more dungeons. I don't know if I need to ult you out. Better safe than sorry. Oh no! They have two Eclipse Abusers! Okay, I'm strong. And next I'm gonna go Seeker's Arm Guard. I kind of needed this game. Is there a better armor item I can go? After 15 years Not Randoins. Dark, I was illuminated. Actually, Seeker's is good.
Okay, look at my Axamuk right now. No okay, we'll compare kings, it to Conquer. No queens, Normal game, no Axamuk, Demonic Embrace. It this is like a tanky now. item. My Conquer is done 300 true damage, 300 healing. And Axamuk's done 900 true damage to enemy champions. That's kind of insane. I'm coming. I'm coming! This fight looks doomed, but I'm coming anyway. I need to fully stack Axamax and then use it. I should have went for Jin. So in that fight, in that fight I did 500 true damage alone. Ah, oh, what is more broken, Leontries or Axamuk? I can't tell. They're so good. They're actually just so good. I will be the monster they think I am. If you could build both, Silas would be the best champion in the game. Or like Rumble or Mordekaiser. Krugs are kind of sexy now. I'm gonna grab the scuttle and then recall. I feel like there's a better... I don't know. Actually, Jonius is good this game. Never mind. I don't know why I don't want to go Jonius. It's good. Good win going Bruiser. Oh my god, Krug's Prestige Edition? True. Actually, true. Uh... I'm gonna sell this because I have Omnivamp now. It will be brother against I didn't brother. Get it. Father against son. Don't think blue. KS. I'm really tanky. I can go in. Actually, I'm not that tanky. That's a bug. What can they do to me that they have not done? I need my blue buff. Where did Cass go? Ah, uh, Cled is alive. Time to crack crust. Wow, does 700? And it breaks shields. If I had Jonia, I could probably 1v1 Cled. Honestly. I found him. Okay, he's glass cannon. TY Draven. I don't thought you. Good, evil. What does four percent over four seconds. One percent per second. Not four percent each second. The Andres. Oh, so it's like 1% of their health per second. Y I see. I think Stopwatch is better than Codex here. Yeah, I guess Leonji's burn damage is way lower than it was right now. But, my Axamuk has done almost 2k true damage. 
That's insane. Do you know how many ignites that is? That's a lot of ignites. That was so long CC. I'm out of here, good luck. Your team has destroyed <laughs> Alright, the GG. I think Aximuck is probably better because there's a team constantly on things.